ass to ashes, dust in the dust Loyalty over money, but the money we trust Nick die young, see now I get packed in the dust Cold game, cause the nigga look exactly like us The strap that I bust, fully auto with a drum on it Close your eyes, silent just for one moment She thought the news was fake till she seen her son on it Fake news, great dudes born to break rules I was taught even broke niggas paid I don't know if you know, this is kind of crazy when we talk about timing I'm looking, and it's like three years ago, almost to the date, you had a PG battle versus Billy Boondocks. On yeah, I think I think that shit dropped today, didn't it? It dropped on July the 9th of 2019. Damn, that's crazy. Three years ago. That's crazy, right? Yeah. So let me ask you, I got to ask you when we start this thing off, why haven't your fans seen you back on URL since that point, I think? Uh, the last uh, conversation I had with one of the staff members was that, like, like uh, that, like, let's keep it a book. You know, we put you back on URL, Koji, and then RBE hit you up. You know what I'm saying? Like, we, we know we know you will take the battle. And my reply was, you know, of course I would take the battle. Why? Because if I'm not signed exclusively to y'all and they hit me up, I mean, I'm a, uh, 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 you know what I'm saying, independent contractor, right? If I'm not signed exclusively to y'all, then I can go battle for who I want to battle for. That's what I just been in business wise. That's how I look at it, but I think they be wanting like a, some type of uh, imaginary like loyalty without commitment. You know what I'm saying? But I commitment, okay. and I feel like with I feel like as an artist in the league, you have to be committed to me the same way you want me to be committed to you. The same way as a relationship. You feel me? So. You know what I'm saying? That's how I really feel. And that's like really, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, like, it ain't like I, I've been, I ain't been, been busy. It ain't like my name. I was just on the, like, last year, I was just on the uh, ballot to be voted for the top 20 last year. And I was just, you know what I'm saying, battling the source and the saga, ill will be magic, you know, and I was in the King of the Dot tournament for 100K on top of doing the online shit, all that life shit. You know, last year I went crazy and shit. And like I said, I was, like I said, the, the saga battle of the source ill will to be magic, you know, then I was in the king of the dot tournament and things of that nature. And then, you know, uh, I, I, I would uh, hit P up and shit and it'd be like, you know, well, once you get, you know, get done with your king of the dot uh, situation, we can entertain booking you again. Then I turn around and I see an initiation card with a bunch of people that was in the king of the dot tournament on it. You feel me? So, and then we look at like, okay, or if you just ain't fucking with me, just say that. You feel right. me? I right, just go right, about right. my business, you know what I'm saying? Like, cause I ain't begging no, like, you know what I'm saying? Niggas ain't the one in all to be all of my career, what I got going on. So at the end of it all, like, I'm always an independent nigga that'll get it for myself. So, you know, like, I would love, like I tell everybody, like I just told Bills and Spaces, I would love to battle back on URL. But like, if you think I'm gonna go do, like I already graduated from the old PG process where Norms got fired, I came through through KG in the West Coast. So I, I, I was, remember we were supposed to do the only the strong car and that ended up falling through because of COVID. And you know what I'm saying? And then I did the Survivor Series shit. So that was my last battle on URL, which was 2020 of uh, November. So I ain't been on there going on about two years now when it hit November again. And it's like, like uh, at this point, like I said, like it ain't like I'm, I, ain't, I ain't getting out here getting busy. It ain't like nothing else. I don't know what the issue is at this point right now. So let me ask you, because see, I've known you for years and you've never needed a platform to succeed. You've always been on the move. You know what I'm saying? Right, like right, even right. Even before you even got your shots. You've always been active. You've always been outside moving around. But honestly, keep it real. Like, do you think if you never make it back on that platform, do you think that's going to affect your legacy at all? Like, how can you make sure moving forward that regardless of you being on that platform and not by being the number one platform, if it doesn't happen for you, how do you make sure that your legacy still doesn't get tainted or what you're still trying to build? Well, at the end of the day, I don't model my uh, legacy based off. I'm a person that's always watched battle raps at, at a rap, no matter if it was on URL, Grind Time, King of the Dial, RBE, or whatever the case may be, or overseas. I've always been a fan of the sport. So I don't think the the source not being on URL ever tainted his legacy. I don't right. think Ill, Ill Mac or uh, Ron or, you know what I'm saying, any one of them people – or, you know what I'm saying, in a case of that nature and shit. So, with that being said, like, I've been there. A lot of niggas don't even, I'm one of the last people to get really, like, YouTube drops. You feel me? So, now, and with that, and that Billy Boondocks battle being one of them, I, and that'd be my first one, and that motherfucker damn near did 60,000. Mm -hmm. First one. So, it's like, no, 
I don't like I said, man. I, I I'm not URL bashing. It's like I'm up, I'm up here saying I would love to battle back on URL, but I they got to make sense for me and you. Like you know what I'm saying? Like I'm not asking to be on Gnome or Summer Madness or none of that shit, man. You can put me on initiation. You can put me on a born legacy at the bottom of the card. It just don't matter. You know what I'm saying? But we're not gonna. You're not gonna tell me I need to go go do a whole crucible process again or some shit like that. Because if it's I got to make sense, I get it. I get it. Because be, be being real, seven. You think I should go? You think I should? If I already did the whole PG process from the from from the last classes that got into PG and got drops and my and I graduated from that to where I'm on flyers where it don't say PG on it or none of that shit or any of that nature. Why would I go back and do? Why would I go back and do a a, a crucible? Absolutely why? not. Because but see, in your situation, absolutely not. But only because, bro, as I stated before, you have a track record of being able to be self-made in this culture. Some right. people, yo, that URL is the end all be all as far as where their career is going to project. So even if they've been rapping for years, they will still follow protocol, even being in the game for, you know, five, eight right. years. They'll still follow protocol because they so worried about getting that specific look. I just never got that vibe from that you. Would, so that, that, it will be that a slap make- in the face. That would make more sense by following like the by follow protocol. That would make more sense if I never did a PG before. That would make sense if I was oh you just trying to skip the line. No, no, right. I did multiple PGs. Right. With KG, P, and Norris. I was on the band legacies against Pep on the app where Pep got smoked all three rounds. You seen me get busy in uh, Arizona. I'm at the top of the car, me and Billy Boondock. Shotgun next to Billy like white only pops. Lift the whole room up. Niggas, niggas remember that. Like, it's so many. Look at the comments. Look at the comments was crazy, bro. The comments on y'all battle was crazy. So my point point is that then you go, we do a thing where y'all drop my battle against King Bo, the way y'all claim my loss, right? And y'all put it up for 10 minutes. Everybody get the notification while I'm in the King of the Dot tournament. Make attention to this. While I'm in the King of the Dot tournament, y'all drop my battle with King Bo on the app. Then y'all take it down 10 minutes later. Then I hit P and P like, oh, well, uh, you hit me back. I'm going to see what's going on. Then two weeks, three weeks past, I said, what's the update on that? He said, oh, well, they, they released the wrong battle. Well, I, I can't see y'all releasing the wrong battle when that battle happened in 2020. Mm. Still years old, bro. How can oh, y'all release old, a two-year-old old battle? Or is it really because I was in the King of the Dot tournament while I was doing that? You know what I'm saying? 